So you want to buy the AirPod Pros and use them as kind of a quick fix uh, for hearing issues. Should you do it? Let's find out. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I have some hearing issues. I'm about 70% lost in this ear and about 20% in this ear. And I don't wear my hearing aids in the evening. It's just kind of a pain. Um, you, you know, at some point you have to put them away. In the evening, I like to watch my iPad Pro. This creates certain issues for me. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, I'm obviously hard of hearing, so if I'm sitting next to my wife and she's watching her iPad and I'm watching mine, we both tend to use our AirPods. And my thought was that because of the transparency mode in the AirPod Pros, that I would be able to use these as a means of mitigating the issue of always having to hit the pause button whenever my wife starts to talk to me. Now, I figured out that that's not the truth. Um, the transparency mode does make it sound almost as though you don't have anything in your ears, but it's not entirely true. Uh, I've also seen reports from people that say it boosts sound. That's not true either. Now, if you're in a pinch with AirPods of any sort and you don't have your hearing aids or you need to hear something specific, you can certainly go into the menus and turn on listening mode. And listening mode will allow you to listen through the microphone on your device, whether it be your iPhone or iPad, what have you, uh, to be able to boost that signal, to be able to boost that sound. But with the AirPods Pro, I just don't think that it's a great buy. Now, if your hearing is mostly a low tone loss, you might be in luck because it certainly enhances that. But any of the high to mid range sounds, it's not going to do anything for you. So although I want to love these, my hearing loss is high tone uh, and a little bit of the mid range. So unfortunately, I don't get the clarity that I'm looking for in order to make it a worthwhile venture to listen to them, uh, also be able to communicate with my wife, listen to them at a lower volume and whatnot, I do still have to pump the volume up a bit. But I just wish Apple would do a few simple things. If they would allow you uh, to use an equalizer or to increase treble, uh, in these devices, in the actual settings of the devices, then we might have something that works. However, uh, that hasn't happened yet. And there's other, there's companies on the market like New Hera who have come out with what's called a hearables device. And that is a, a device uh, where you can listen to music and you can listen to other things. You actually have an application uh, that test your hearing and then adjust the devices based off of your hearing. Unfortunately, Apple hasn't come out with anything like that. Now, do I think that Apple's going to be a contender in the future? Sure, sure. I think that they're going to get into the hearables, if not hearing aid uh, space because it's opening up this year. Uh, over-the-counter hearing aids are going to be something that any company can compete for. However, they haven't done anything with it yet. So if you're like me and you have high range or high tone hearing loss, high to mid tone hearing loss, you know what? Save your money don't buy these. They're just not worth it. However, the better fix is actually the less expensive AirPods 2. So, 
if you do have hearing loss, this is going to work far better for you. Does it have transparency mode? No, it does not. Does it need transparency mode based off of the fact that you're still getting sound directed uh, into your ears because it's not sealed off? You don't need it because with these, there's no boost to it. So having that situational awareness and capability of hearing is not going to happen. Um, you know, I think you're better off going to a company like New Hera if you really want to be able to boost the outside sound as well as listen to uh, music and, and other audio uh, in a way that functions with your hearing loss. Uh, but at this point, Apple has just kind of disappointed me with this. I did see some things people were saying, oh, it boosts your uh, outside sound by 20%. That's not true. Uh, it's simply not true. So again, if you're looking at buying uh, AirPods Pro in order to help with your hearing loss and you have high tone hearing loss, I don't recommend them. I absolutely don't recommend them. Um, will I continue to use mine? Yeah, because I spent $250 on them. Um, will I hope that eventually EQ uh, capabilities or being able to adjust the sound that comes out of them uh, becomes available? Sure, I hope so in an update, but I don't think that it's going to. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. If this helped you, please hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to hear more about hearing technology, as well as other technologies and random reviews, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you.